Swole Benji here. So today in New World, I'm going to tell you all about the best things that you should craft early on in the game. These are things that will help you dramatically increase your character's wealth, your ability to run around, carry more things, and harvest faster. So let's get straight into it. The very absolute first thing you want to do once you get some basic resources and as soon as possible and everyone can do this at the start of the game. By the time you hit the settlements, you're going to be past level 5. You're going to find the workshop, uh, and you're going to craft yourself some iron tools, okay? You start with flint tools, and you're going to rush to iron, skinning knife, logging axe, mining pick, harvesting sickle. You can also do the wood, the fishing pole if you want, alright? But you want to get at least these four. This will dramatically, dramatically speed up how fast you you harvest. Okay, so just for instance, uh, mining. Mining is a super slow when you're at tier 1. Look how fast it is. 100% gather speed. Just upgrading for very cheap ingredients. These are actually very cheap. I know to a new player, uh, iron ingots seem like super rare things. They're not. Iron ingots are one of the most common. All right, this increases it by 125%. I know that sound, doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. It's a huge amount, okay? And then throughout your adventure... Uh, you need, once you hit level, what, 20? 20 is really easy. It's like the first four hours of the game if you know what you're doing. Upgrade to steel. Now, steel is a little bit more complex to upgrade into. It's not that hard. The only problem is that if you're a min-maxing, no-life gamer such as myself, a lot of settlements will not have a tier 3 workshop. And also, you need level 50 engineering to make this, which honestly isn't that much once you know what you're doing. But... Steel goes from 125% to 250, so it doubles your speed. It's so good. Like, the game starts feeling really nice once you unlock steel tools, okay? Now, there is a little cheat you can do if you if you find out none of the settlements have a, a workbench, okay? And the way to find out if a settlement has a workbench is you click on the settlement button here. I left-clicked, and then you click Settlement Details War Info. And you look for the warbench, like this one has a tier 4 workshop, which on day 1, they won't have a tier 4 workshop, okay? But there is one place in the world that always has a tier 3 workshop, and it's all the way up here at Great Cleave, okay? So you go here to Great Cleave, and this workshop is always going to be tier 3. Now, yes, this is a dangerous venture through a level 45 zone. You can make it there safely. You just keep to the roads, and you dodge roll when enemies aggro you. That's it. Put some campfires down in case you die. You can warp back and try again. But you, you can make it there. You can absolutely make it here. Craft your tools and then you can teleport using your ends teleport all the way back home to safety. And that's what you're going to want to do uh, as soon as you can, as soon as the game allows you, alright? Now, there's other things that you should also craft or work on crafting. Alright, and that is a bag space, okay? When you start out a character... The only thing that you can carry is like 200 pounds at a time, alright, but you unlock more and more bag slots. Like, my character is pretty well advanced. I have two bags, each giving me 220 encumbrance each, and uh, it's very, very useful. Like, my character can hold almost 800 pounds. That's four times the amount, and I'm lagging here. I think my computer's beeping, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... All you gotta do to craft bags, they're very simple to craft early on, but they do get pretty advanced. You're going to go to the outfitting station. Now, this counts as armor crafting, alright? Which you should be leveling up through the town boards anyway. But whenever you get a chance, you should really... Let's scroll down here, and you're going to go to all-purpose bag. The coarse leather bag, which this would be linen, but I don't have linen available. So there we go. You would use linen, coarse leather... And iron ingots. It's very easy to craft now. You're, you're probably asking, what about this minor rune of holding? How the heck do I get this, okay? Minor rune of holding is very simple and, and easy to get, okay? This bag alone will give you 100 encumbrance. You do get a bag for doing the story missions. It's only 50. It's literally half of what the first crafted bag does. So don't even bother with the story mission bag. Just craft your own. It's twice as good, and you can wear multiples of them as you level up, okay? So to get that minor root of holding, you're going to join a faction, and you're going to do the faction missions, which you should be doing anyway. But you go to your faction person. For me, it's the Covenant, the light right? Of the covenant and we go to buy rewards, and as the initiate rank or whatever, the, the very first rank you unlock, here it is, minor root of holding. It takes 1,000 faction points and 250 coin. 
right? So you would just buy one of these and then that will craft you your bag, okay? And sometimes people sell these for cheaper than 250 on the market. So you can always buy one off the market if you don't want to do the faction stuff or you want to spend your faction points on something else. So those are the absolute things that you should rush into crafting immediately. Now, how about things to avoid while crafting, okay? Uh, when you're doing crafting, don't bother crafting too much armor or weapons, okay? Crafting armor and weapons early on is just a waste. You're going to find way better upgrades just killing mobs in, in, in random loot chests. Now, another thing that you should absolutely craft is some basic rations and, and healing potions. I have separate videos on how to do that and the materials, how to do it. Like, I have, what, 43 weak healing potions. These things, they just heal so much. I, I can't even see how much they heal because I'm fully healed, so it doesn't heal anything. But I can chug these all day and not feel bad about it. I don't feel like I'm going to waste. I can do it just as a roleplay thing, like I'm having a drink with the lads, you know, kind of thing, right? Mastery points available 37. That's because I uh, did a weapon video. Anyway, guys, I'm hope hopefully this helped you out. There's really not too much more that you should be crafting at the the start. You know, uh, you can craft uh, ammo if you're using a musket. Like I'm using a musket, and I have a separate video on that, so I'm not going to get into too much detail. You can start crafting gunpowder and and ammo right away, right from out of the gate. Arrows are actually easier to craft than bullets. The materials are so much more abundant. So you just, again, this is all workshop stuff. You just go to the workshop and then you scroll down here and you craft your, your armor. This is one thing that as a new player, you should absolutely prioritize if you plan to use the musket. And it's just nice to have. It, it's a good source of money early on before everyone else figures out bullets. Like the first five days of beta, like everyone was buying bullets off me. I was just rich. I was a, I was like an arms tycoon master, man. But uh, other than that, you know, like, don't go over here and just craft 100 swords. Uh, don't bother with that because you're going to unlock better weapons. Like, I have never, cra like, specified crafting weapons, right? I've just been doing the town board missions, and my weapon smithing is level 43. And my armor smithing was about the same. I had to actually pump a lot of hours and materials into armor smithing to get it to level 100 so I could get the re really, really good bags, all right? And uh, the armor that I can craft right now, like like at level 105 armor smithing, which took 10 hours of grinding, 20,000 coins worth of materials, and even then that wasn't enough, okay? The best thing I can make right now is the star metal heavy breastplate for a 400 gear score. Like, I can just go do a covenant, I can just go do faction missions, and look at that, 420 gear score. It's, it's far better uh, than anything I can still craft, and I power leveled the heck out of crafting, so... Do not waste time crafting stuff that you don't need to use. So to sum up the video for you guys, the TLDR, craft bullets, craft potions, craft rations, craft bags, and craft gathering tools, okay? Like, I didn't start seeing star metal gathering tools or even steel gathering tools till about the fourth or fifth day of beta, right? But you, you can get these on day number one, and they dramatically, massively, super duper speed up your gathering speed to the point where you're going to be way ahead of everyone else, and this is a very heavy gathering game. I know a lot of people don't want to do gathering. They just want to do dungeons and kill mobs and do quests. And that's fine. In that case, you don't need a, a, an axe. Look at that. I can chop down the tree in two hits. A little two-hitter. Boom, done. I got the tree. Like someone else chopping the tree down. Let's see. This guy's chopping trees. What kind of tool does he have? Maybe. Well, I can't dodge roll over there. Okay, he's got at least tier two. At least a tier two axe. So he's he's doing it. He He's getting her done. Right? One, one hit, two hits at it. Yeah, it might, it might be a tier 3 axe. Anyway, the point is, is that with a little dinky winky tier 1 axe, you're going to be chopping all day and you're going to be getting very little resources, okay? Well, that's the video. I appreciate you watching. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Leave a comment and a like. You gotta do both. When you do both, it is an algorithm cheat code. It's a YouTube combo. It's, it really helps out. Also, I make a New World video every single day. Hopefully I'm keeping you guys entertained, you know, until the game launches. So please subscribe. You don't want to miss a video. I've got some really good stuff. I'm going to share every single secret I come across. I'm not like those big guilds and those, you know, uppity gamers, you know, where they find a secret resource and they never tell anyone. I tell everyone every secret immediately upon finding it, which ruins it for everyone. But hey, that's just 
That's just me. I'm not gonna withhold secrets and gaming intel from you guys, okay? I'm not like one of those uh, info brokers on Sword Art Online, okay? Uh, I do it for free. Uh, and all I want is, you know, you to just leave a comment and a like. That's it, you know. That's the, that's the toll, okay? Anyway, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, lads.